Well, welcome back to KSAN News. Some of us saw some well-needed showers across the area, and we can see some isolated showers for some of our counties going into tonight. But we'll be warming up tomorrow as dry weather comes into the forecast, but it won't stay long. We could see some more showers going into Saturday and into the weekend. Now, this is a look across Texas right now. Pretty active. The stationary front. Now, was that cold front is stalled right here over the Austin area. They're getting hammered with a lot of rain and fall, seeing the lightning strikes, dangerous lightning there as well. And the Big Bend region, all of this filtering in to our region and taking a closer look. This is a tad bit long interstate 10 and pretty much swooping in here behind that low pressure system. We'll continue to see the chance to see some spotted showers going into our area tonight, but everybody won't see that. Overall, looking at June, it was pretty well above average as we look. We have not added today for Tuesday, but definitely 12, 24 days already above average for this time of year and below only three, none normal for this year right now as we go into June, the month of June. Right now, winds are out of the east at 10 miles per hour temperatures at 93 so feeling somewhat pleasant even though it's still a little hot but not in the triple digits like we've been seeing over the last couple weeks which is refreshing overall seeing some cooler weather if you're in the eastern counties you're sitting pretty nice 84 degrees in Ballinger 87 in Eden and Melvin and Brady 95 in Ozona in Sterling City a nice day overall with some cloud cover helping keeping things cool but if I time this out high resolution future cast here going into the 630 hour again you may start to see some rumbles of thunder maybe Tom Green getting an isolated shower or two and then I think most of the activity is going to stay well off to our east and west Sterling City might get a little shower activity maybe into Mertzen going to everyone else is going to taper out and fizzle out as we go into the evening hours things clear out going to Wednesday plenty of sunshine and then the high pressure builds in so it's already starting to build out west over the Fork Corners region. We'll continue to start to see. Notice the darkenings of the reds as we go into next week. That's because we're going to be seeing higher heights and we're also going to be getting temperatures higher as well into the triple digits going forward. Now, we'll enjoy the next couple days. Pretty much going to hover into the upper 90s. Nothing too special with that. We're going to dry out, but then Saturday, watching that low pressure system that develops over the Gulf could ease us down temperatures-wise if it progresses a little more west. We're looking to be on the drier side of that, but anything can happen within the next couple of days, so we'll keep you informed into the next days as well. Now, planning out your planner tonight, all that rain activity will be out of here after 12 a.m. Notice going into the evening hours of uh, late evening, morning hours when you're going to work, seeing mostly clear conditions. And when you step out the door, you're going to expect temperatures to be a little warm for you. But things are going to get hot as we go into the evening hours. Now, let's plan your week ahead. If you had plans this week, you're going to enjoy the next two days. We return back into the triple digits, possibly maybe Friday. I'm still thinking we're going to be in the upper 90s. But then as we get into the end of the week, watching for that rain chance. We'll be back with more KSAN News.